Mm, guys, this little rose is going worldwide. In fact, this girl is moving now. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. How are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. Hope you are having a great day. Welcome, welcome back once again. Okay, guys, see ya. Make sure to watch, make sure you watch this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let's move to the next one. Hmm your baby girl Liko rose yes so it says take us a championship niger's first sports reality tv show starts match a total amount of 40 million naira will be won in the stakers championship the first ever sports reality tv show in nigeria yes your baby girl Liko rose as you can see if you look right there you would see her she is there live and direct it says powered by gold um Thai International Limited the reality TV show will feature 32 contestants. Okay, over here this person says in Maro's family, our big baby will be the co-host of Stakers Championship, the first ever sports reality TV show in Nigeria. It will be featuring 32 contestants who will compete for the title of the Stakers Champions. Champion and a total amount of 40 million naira will be won. Hmm. Um uh, you know go easy. Hmm this girl oh my this girl is multi-talented though if you have been following me for long now and yes i posted uh the the uh first day of biggie's prank yes that prank that biggie gave to liquor rose so i posted the first day on my channel so yes this one is the continuation of the second day and this is from mafaku okay it says liquor's points of view one by one we went to the diary room and when we were done us others continued in character since we were told to mimic each other in my heart i was praying that biggie should at least reveal the prank to everyone because some of the housemates concluded that things between me and emmanuel were over i also was scared of his reaction to be honest i felt i went overboard trying to convince him that i wasn't interested anymore let me brief you guys what is happening here okay in case you're not understanding you guys remember by then in biggie south biggie gave Liko rose a task to carry out and that is prank to be ignoring a uh, to ignore a uh, emmanuel for two days so yes guys so uh, mafaku decided this lady now decided to write down how that prank went on yes how everything happened in big brother how that first and second day prank how everything happened so that is what i'm trying to um that is what i'm reading out for you guys okay yes if you watched the videos i posted a few days ago you would understand what i'm saying and if you haven't watched it make sure to go and watch it let's move over to the next one I write over here why be busy mimicking each other when we were called and told to sit on the lounge and that Biggie had something for us to see. So we all went and waited and then boom, Biggie watched the clip carefully. Then the clip went as follows. Biggie, I need you to play a prank on someone. Big Brother would like you to start a fight and avoid Nini until the diary sessions. This one is about the Nini and Saga own. So guys, if you have been following me and you have not subscribed to my channel, what I still waiting for, do that right now, okay? So yes, you all remember back then in Biggie's house, how Biggie told them to mimic each other. So when they were doing that, I went at that moment, the prank was still going on. No. So let's see what's going to happen next. Yes, what happened. And now you guys should also know that the clip, Biggie decided to play a clip for them and it goes like this. They call as if Nini and Saga were aware of what's going to take place. They were laughing hard and being playful as usual. Saga laughing, ah, it's going to be a tough one, but no problem, consider it done. They call then Biggie showed a clip of my asking me the same thing. Biggie, they call Rose, I would like you to play a prank on someone. Start a fight and avoid them. Hmm, you guys know how Biggie's voice used to sound. Liko says, obviously, I agreed because I felt like you can't say no to Biggie without reaping the consequences. Ah, who says no to Big Brother? You are in his house and you want to say no. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this one says, he still says, so by now everyone knew what was going on. I remember Mazi smiling and looking at Emma and Emma looking back at him with a sigh of relief. Looking at Emma and seeing him smiling for the first time since the prank 
brought joy in my heart. I felt like I went overboard trying to convince him that I was no longer interested in him and I was scared of his reaction after finding it out. It was a prank after all. But that prank, eh? Ellie Goros, you went overboard, honestly, because the kind of things you are saying to Emmanuel. And again, Cross was there just advising Emmanuel to go over to Lee Rose, ask her what her problem is, blah, 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 all those things. Right over here, he still says Biggie continued playing the clips for the past two days, so it turns out... I- it turns out that I was given the same task as Saga, but he failed to pull it through. Biggie showed us a clip where Saga revealed everything to Nini, and for that, there would be consequences to fall. Ah, the consequences. <laughs> I mean, what happens in the diary session stays, stays there. So, Saga revealing Biggie's secrets. Biggie showed. Biggie showed played a clip where Saga was gossiping about Perez to Nini. Saga saying Perez seemed to have lost Poppy or lost without Maria. Imagine your friend gossiping about you about your friend behind your back. Of course, Perinko was shocked while watching that clip and Saga looked like a mouse caught stealing cheese. Hmm. I remember that one very, very well. Oh my. Hey! Everybody, we are talking about how Saga betrayed uh, uh, Pere, blah, 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 but thank God they are in, still in good terms now, okay? Over it still says, for whispering, Saga and Nini received strikes, and we are also punished by cleaning the garden, which was filled with dirt that we didn't know came from, and no one was allowed to help, allowed to help them. Biggie, Liko Rose, Liko, yes, big brother, Biggie, as hard as the tax was, you still fell to the earth, you fought it a bit, but all in all, you stayed focused, such a sacrifice deserves a reward. Liko says, yes, Biggie, smiling, hmm, I remember everything very well, how big brother rewarded Liko Rose and Emmanuel, ah, that day, that day, <laughs> nobody would ever forget that day. Over here, still says, Biggie, you have won yourself 200 BB tokens and 200 Abeg Naira. Liko, thank you, Biggie, Biggie. And oh, since the prank affected your special friend, Emmanuel, I also believe he needs to be rewarded also. I know it was also hard for him. Hmm. Liko says, yes, big brother. Emma smiling uncontrollably in agreement. Biggie Emmanuel for being affected by the prank. You also get 200 BB tokens and 200 Abeg Naira. <laughs> and Emma says, thank you, Biggie, shining that his teeth. Okay, guys, see ya. <laughs> If you have not been following the previous, if not, if you haven't watched the previous previous ones, what am I even saying? If you haven't watched the previous ones, please make sure to go and watch them. Okay, yes, I have all of them right there on my channel. And guys, let's continue because it never end. Over here, Big Brother says. The chorus for carrying carrying out the prank successfully. I think you and Emmanuel deserve some alone time to talk things through. And for that, I'm rewarding you guys a romantic dinner for two in the executive lounge for two hours. Everything else will be sorted. You guys just need to dress up and show up. And oh, you are not allowed to bring the food out of the executive lounge. After the task, everything will be ready for the both of you. Hmm. Hey, this some people some people's uh, uh, memories are very very sharp. Oh, see how can how, this girl remembers everything that Biggie said? Oh man, hmm. Now they try you. Over here, this is this says Liko and Emma. Thank you, Liko and Emma says thank you, Biggie. Liko says after the prank ended, I remember running to Emmanuel, kissing and hugging him. My heart felt at peace at that moment. Emma, everything was revealed and it turned out to be a prank. I remember breathing a sigh of relief. I mean, I was so focused, I didn't know what went wrong, but thank God everything was back to normal. Hmm. I record Angel being curious of what was going on between me and Liko Rose. Kai, she even asked for a kiss. Ah, ah. Mm. <laughs> Over he says, Liko, I couldn't wait spending time with my baby without any interruptions. We just had to play the task after go for our that romantic dinner day that broke the internet guys if you remember everything that happened back then in biggie south yes few months ago just be dropping your comment in the comment section okay because guys see hmm he's still fresh 
in my memory and i'm sure it's still fresh in this mafakus the writer's memory because uh, this person oh, ah your memory oh, it they keep something so anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and anyway watching me from good morning good afternoon and good evening that's according to your time it only depends wherever you're watching me from and once again happy new year love you all so much peace out mm -hmm. kissy